So what is it like driving on the track? Last week I went on a track day and you know I thought let's try this out. So what is well, so what is it like driving on the track? Well, as you can see here I'm about to leave the pit lane. And man oh man was I nervous. I mean my oh, hands were sweaty. My palms were so sweaty because I thought oh my god I'm going to go on the go on the track I mean this is the city motorsport park by the way and as you can see I'm in the beginners class so the way how it works at, at Sydney motorsport park is if you've done zero to five track days you, you are considered as a beginner and if you do more than that you are considered as an expert or expert as in quotations you know so as you can see here I'm behind a 200SX and don't get me wrong even though we were in the beginners class or well, I was in the beginners class the cars that were in my group there were a huge variety of cars I mean we had as you can see a, a Nissan I had we had a actually a GTR two Alfa Romeo C4s a Mercedes and a lot of cars I'm just letting I'm, I'm just letting you guys know now it was like a huge variety of cars it wasn't just a, a beta bomb like mine I mean my car was the slowest on the track anyways so as you can see the man is waving me by so I'm now exiting well, pit lane and mind you I'm still shitting myself because I'm, oh my god this is four kilometers off racetrack and I was still scared of hitting turn one I mean because the turn one is a sweeper that means you gotta hit it with speed and I was not sure if the if my little CRX was even gonna stop and the car is dead stop man it's like it has nothing done to it all all I've done to it is just replace the radiator just to make it to the track day because the last few hits that I've made with the CRX it the bloody thing overheated so I needed a new radiator and that was the only thing that I put in there besides that everything is stock I mean I have a crappy exhaust it's the biggest fart can uh, the brakes are stock the steering wheel stock everything is stock so as you can see here we are on our parade lap so mind you there are a lot of newbies on the track um, that day so I wasn't the only one so I would like to go through the emotions that I went through so at first I was really scared as you can see here I'm, I'm doing no speed at all I'm not even going that fast and I'm just, I'm just getting to know the track it is good to know the track before you actually go for it so I don't recommend just going hard on, on the on the opening lap because it it might look slow but if you're actually driving the thing it's actually pretty daunting so I recommend that you uh, got overtaken by it by a Subaru so it's, it's a good thing to get to you know know the track on your first lap before you actually go for it so we are now, I think we're heading into the last turn before the straight. As we can see right here, I'm going around very slowly. I think I'm, I'm in third gear. And now I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to go for it flat out. Oh, well, I'm so taken by a Holden. Go flat out. As you can see, maxed out in fourth. And yes, it can only go up to fourth gear because the car makes no power hard on the brakes thank god it stopped so first corner I hit about 120 but as the day progressed I, I managed to hit 140 in that same corner so here is ten, turn 2 hard on the brakes hard on the brakes put it in second whoop lost it there regathered so as you can see 
I made it to turn three. So as you so, so as you drive and keep on driving, you take the you take the corners one by one, so nothing matters. I'm just letting you know now nothing matters. Not your life problems, not your wife problems. Nothing matters when you're on the track. All you're thinking about is who is around you, who's who's in front of you, who's be, who's behind you, who's beside you, and what what speed you should be entering in that particular corner, when to brake, and when to turn left and when to turn right. That's all you're thinking. Nothing matters when you're on the track. It's it is kind of therapeutic I mean I've had a lot of problems this year a lot of ups and downs <coughs> so when I was on the track nothing mattered absolutely nothing mattered because if you th if you are thinking about your problems on the track you're gonna go off the track I mean just because it is city city motorsport park you know the I reckon the best racetrack in, in Australia. It might look open, but if you look closely, there's concrete barriers, there's tire barriers, you know. If, if you get anything wrong, you're gonna go th right through the grass and into the, into the concrete wall. And that day, that particular day, the grass, we were warned in, in the driver's briefing that the grass was wet, so, if we were to go onto the grass, most likely we're going to end up in the wall. So there's not much to think about. All you're thinking is about taking the taking one corner at a time. That's all you're thinking about. So what have I learned at the track? Well, first off, I've learned that my CRX cannot handle a track day in its current state. I mean, the thing overheats badly. I mean, between sessions, we had to refill the radiator because it it sprayed water on the track. Don't, don't tell the officials. I mean, we lost a lot of fluid in every session. So, the thing overheats, we've got to do something about it. Um, second, track days are fun. Even though I was overlapped by God knows how many cars, it was fun. And me and Adam, my, my, my friend, we had a blast. I mean, sure, we paid 300 something dollars, but oh well, I think it was worth it. You know, you guys should give it a go. Track days are fun, even though in a crummy little CRX. And third, and a final third, what have I learned? I've learned that once you're on the track, nothing matters. Nothing matters, but it's, it's the only thing that matters is you and the car being in harmony and taking the next corner. And then taking the next one, the next one, and the next one, and you do it step by step. And I think that applies for life as well. I mean, there is a reason why my rear view mirror is small. It is, it is puny in comparison to my windscreen. I mean, look at it. It's puny. So, sure, the past is behind you and you can dwell on it in moments. So, but you shouldn't think about it all the time. I mean, the windscreen is right in front of you. You gotta see what's in front of you. You gotta be present. Same thing with the future you shouldn't even think about the future I mean as you can see I'm taking each corner one at a time I'm not thinking about turn two when I'm in turn one you see or I don't think about turn f turn five when I'm when I'm in turn four I'm just I just have to take the turn that is right in front of me I mean and it, it's the same thing for life so if you're thinking that, you know, I should, 
you know, freaking wash my car tomorrow or or pay my bills tomorrow. Don't think about it. Just do it. Just do it right now. You know, think about now. Because being present is all you have. Even if it is on the track when life. Because let's face it, life is more fun when you're living in the present. You know, because you're because the present is all we have. And the future is not even in in our realm of reality yet. So that's what I've learned at the track. Even if it was four hours. And the silver lining is even though the car overheated and I did blow a hose on the very last session, it's life. It's just the way it is. And you take it with the good and the bad. And you gotta remember, this too shall pass. So if you're experiencing a lot of misfortune, know that it will pass. Your misfortunes will not last forever. And the same thing if you're going through through the good you know, through the good times. It too shall pass. So enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. And forget the past. Forget the future. Just enjoy the moment. Enjoy it like as if you're on a track day. Just enjoy it.